best friends were homies. She's in her 20s, she lives with her mom, her parents divorced because she says her dad is like cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And some of you guys are in this situation where you're out with your other friends and they're always like, yo, what's up with you and so and so? Like, that's me and Lauren. You know, she's super gorgeous. gorgeous. Around in my SpongeBob underwear. Yes, that's important to the story. And I get this text from Lauren and she was like, hey, my mom went out of town and I'm home alone. Can you come over? Now, I don't know about some of y'all supermodels, but it takes me like hours to wash all this ugly off my face. So I'm not trying to go anywhere. Now any normal functioning red-blooded human boy would look at this text and be like, <laughs> it's about to go back. No! But my body! My body! Said yes! So now I'm in the car at 130 AM, driving to this girl's house, pull up in her driveway. We're on her couch watching Netflix, and I know nothing's going down because we're homies. All of you got a fence, so I'm just assuming ain't nobody back there, some rat, nothing's back there. She closes the blinds, comes back over to the couch, we finish watching the movie. So the movie ends, I look at my phone, it's 4 a.m. It's time to go. Lauren, all right, I'm out. She's kind of sleepy, so we stand, we hug, I walk myself to the front door, open it, and there's a truck in the street, my car in the driveway. Uh, there's a white truck out here blocking my core. <gasps> oh my God, it's my dad. There is a very crucial part of the story that I intentionally left out. Remember that part earlier when I was like, yeah, her parents divorced because you think he has his gun on him. He definitely has his gun on him. Oh, okay, this is how I die. You. Thank you.